So let's plug in the cable here. And charging the Osmo Ashland. Charging here using the USB Type C cable. What's up everyone? Good afternoon. In the past videos, we purchased the DJI Osmo Action that we could probably use in one of our future videos such as this one. But unfortunately, while using it on an uh, e-bike uh, commute or an e-bike uh, vlog or something, I only have one battery and usually the battery would only last for an hour. So. I was thinking that I was going to buy battery packs for the DJI Osmo Action but then I don't like the idea of removing the case and replacing the new battery. So I decided to do a uh, DJI Osmo Action battery pack. Not battery pack or something else but rather a battery pack power bank DIY style so I purchased something online and let's do the unboxing and assembling it for this time okay so this is the one I purchased this one online sometime last week and it has already arrived so as we open up the package you might think that this is a battery bank yes this is a battery bank but it's just a case a black case actually so it is a power bank case so if you remember I have this uh, video where we assembled the 48 volt uh, e-bike battery so maybe I just link the description somewhere here. During that video, we have an excess of 18650 cells here. Because I purchased 70 pieces, but I only use 65 for this. So to put this in good use, I purchased this one. So let's try to open this up. So it is an 18650 cell battery holder. So for this one, we'll do it DIY style. So since one of these is a 3.5 ampere hour battery, put it in parallel. The five pieces of this battery would generate up to 17.5 ampere hours of battery using this case. So let's try to remove this one and open up this case so this is a DIY battery pack holder okay so this is just this one so as you open it up it has an included uh, small Phillips screwdriver set here and some small screws Phillips screw head so this may be one of the place them in these holes after we assemble this so this comes already with a controller for charging and discharging the batteries and up here are the input and output USB ports so this one is the USB 2.0 port this one is the USB 1.0 up here is the USB type C in and output port and the charging this can be also used as charging port as well so it has a standard micro USB 2.0 and this one right above here is a 
uh, iPhone cables or the lightning cable charger so let's try to assemble this one so first let's set it aside and test each and every cell of this battery if they are having the same voltage of course by using our multi-tester let's check each of the cells so it's 3.5 volts 3.5 volts 3.5 volts 3.5 volts and another 3.5 volts so easily we can just insert all of them here so it's exactly five parallel 18650 cells so this one is the negative terminal and then the other one is the positive so just try to see the correct polarity so you can just slide them in here just like that but I guess for safety and uh, sturdier battery replacement let's try to put all of this using a captain tape Okay, so let's place them all here. So negative terminal, positive terminal. Just need to slide them up here. So this one, so let's try to turn this thing on. Okay, nice. So it's displays here that it is five percent remaining. Five percent. So let's try to close this one and we'll try to charge the battery first. also has this okay so we're done nice and flat so let's turn it on again so remaining capacity is only five percent I don't know if you can see that but let's charge this one before testing it on some applications So I have here a cell phone charger with a USB Type-C connector. So let's use the Type-C plug here. And now it's charging. Okay, let's have a closer look. After charging for almost 5 hours, since its last capacity was only 5%, it has now been fully charged. It's now about 100% and it's time to test the output capacity of this power bank so we're going to use these two types of cables the ordinary USB to type C 
cell phone charger and a type C to type C uh, female plugs and of course we'll be using our phone to test the voltage and the current capacity using the application called Ampere so first we will test on the fast charging port which is this one Let's try to plug in the cable and charge our phone using the power bank so based on the display of the power bank by pressing this one it says here the output is 5 volts 3 amperes maximum so let's check based on the ampere uh, application the output current maximum is now at 2.3 amps so fast chargers usually range from 2 to 3 amps so let's check a little further Using the fast charging port, its output voltage is 5 volts, 3 amperes. And it has now gone up still at the maximum of 2.3 amps and still continuously charging the phone. So, next, we will now be checking this USB Type 1 which I think would only max out to 1 to 1 1.5 uh, ampere so let's check so it's now measuring based on the application So the maximum output current is at 1.5 amps. Okay, still a good one. The next test we will be now be doing is the USB Type C to Type C connector, which can be also be used as an in and out port. Here, so let's try to remove these cables. Plug into the USB Type C in and out port. Here, and plugging it in to our phone. So it's no charging. Let's check for the amper rating. Also in the display, it also says out 5 volts 3 amperes. Let's check for the maximum current. So the type c connector can also be used as an input to charge the battery bank as well as an output to charge your phone or any device that has a usb type c connector uh, usually uh, a mobile phone or charger
but its maximum is only at <laughs> one milliamp. Okay. So overall, this uh, power bank is usually very helpful to charge your device and other uh, mini mini devices actually. So for the ultimate test, let us try if this uh, power bank can charge the DJI Osmo Action. So let's plug in the cable here. And charging the Osmo Action. Charging here using the USB Type C cable. Okay, it's now charging. So the output is a 5 volts, 3 ampere coming out from the power bank to the DJI Osmo Action. So hopefully this would give some juice, especially on long distance riding trips. So, it's okay. So the main purpose really is to charge the DJI Osmo Action with this power bank. So uh, I really just don't like the idea of uh, buying extra battery packs and use it as a uh, backup for the Osmo Action camera since you have to uh, undo everything by removing the case then plug in and plug again the power the extra power battery so it just gives you another type of hassle when replacing the batteries so this one the battery pack that we have just built is now an alternative for the extra power pack for this uh, DJI Osmo Action Camera Peace